Hello. In this video, we will be showing you how to set up Cloud Director service through VMware Cloud Partner Navigator. The prerequisites for this video are a commit contract for Cloud Director service and a VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC already set up in your provider organization. To begin, you'll navigate to Infrastructure Management, Cloud Endpoints, and then click Add Cloud Endpoints. Make sure the VMware Cloud Director Service radio button is highlighted, and you'll put in your instance name. You'll select the geographic environment where you want the Cloud Director instance to live. Note that this is the Cloud Director cells themselves, not your SDDC. You'll select the version of vCloud Director or upgrade category as it's called here, and you'll put in an administrator password. We will then click the next button, acknowledge the costs here, and then create our instance. You can expect the setup time for your Cloud Director service instance to be about 15 to 20 minutes. This includes the setup of two individual Cloud Director cells. I've sped up my deployment so we can move on to associating our SDDC with our new Cloud Director instance. And as a side note, you may have to refresh the page in order to get the status of your Cloud Director instance. So now it's time to associate our SDDC with our Cloud Director instance. First, we go to Actions, then Associate SDDC, and we put in the name of the SDDC, our refresh token, and the VMC org ID that the SDDC resides in. Once we click Save, we can click on Actions, View Activity Log, and see the status of our association job. This should only take a couple minutes to complete. We can then go to Deployed Instances, verify that our Cloud Director instance is ready, then click on Open VCD to create our provider VDC. When Cloud Director opens, you can see that we have no organizations created yet. In order to do so, we need to create provider VDCs. First, we'll check and make sure our cloud cells are ready to go. We'll look at provider VDCs to verify that nothing is there. We'll go to infrastructure resources and check out our vCenter instance status, and we can see that that's ready to go. So we'll come back to cloud resources and then provider VDCs and then click New to create a new provider VDC. We then start by giving our VDC a name. Mine is going to be Pay As You Go. And then we select our VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC as our vCenter. We want to be sure to select the Compute Resource Pool, not the Management Resource Pool. The Management Resource Pool is reserved. We then select our storage policy. In my case, I'm selecting the vSAN default storage policy. And then you'll notice that we have no VXLAN network pools created. That's because VMware Cloud on AWS runs on NSXT. So we're gonna go ahead and select the NSXT manager and pool. And then we click finish. Now that we have a provider VDC created, we can proceed to create organizations for our customers through Cloud Director Service or through VMware Cloud Partner Navigator, which we will cover in the next video. Thanks for watching.